We begin with that deadly debris, and we now know the building's owner was warned that this could happen. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live in Times Square tonight with the story. Alice. Maurice 49th Street here between 7th and 6th Avenues remains, clo remains closed as crews work here to put up scaffolding, a sidewalk shed here under the supervision of the Department of Buildings. Many say this is a tragedy that could have been prevented. 60-year-old Erica Tishman was killed around 10.30 Tuesday morning after being struck by a piece of falling facade as she walked by. I was coming out the train station going to work today and I heard screams. I saw kind of debris off to the side and... Um, there's blood. It's pretty horrifying. Yeah, I just saw, you know, them working to try to revive her. What's your reaction to something like that? It's pretty horrific. We we all work right over here. Could have happened to anyone. It's very scary. And the owners of 729 7th Avenue were warned this could happen. Back in April, the Department of Buildings issued numerous violations at the address, like failure to maintain exterior building facade, noting damaged terracotta at areas above 15th floor in several locations, which poses a falling hazard for pedestrians. The owner was fined $1,250 and paid it, but the violation remained open because the property owner did not confirm that violations were fixed. Himmel and Maringoff properties say it's cooperating fully with the city. Well, I think part of the problem with uh, inspections and fines that it seems for some building owners it's the cost of doing business. Senator Brad Hoylman, like many, is outraged and thinks there needs to be a better system created once a full investigation is complete. It might lead to something like criminal charges, and boy, when somebody is um, killed by falling debris that could have been averted had the building owner taken the appropriate steps, I think it's warranted. Neighbors told CBS2 Tishman was an architect with 30 years of experience in design and construction. She also served on the board for the Educational Alliance, the first woman to serve as board chair. EA released a statement that reads in part, to every opportunity, meeting, or event, she always brought her full self. Her presence will always be felt in every corner of our organization. Again, the Department of Buildings is investigating. No word yet on when this street will open to vehicular traffic. We're live tonight in Times Square. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Alice, thank you.